gonna be a random haul at first I was gonna film different hauls so I could just have footage you know to post here and there but I mean it's not that much stuff so I'm just gonna do a collective haul of a few stores that I've been going to but before I get started just in case anyone was wondering what lipstick I'm wearing right now I have on this NYX um, lip pencil which is in nutmeg so yeah it's the NYX pencil in nutmeg and then I also have this Revlon lippy which it doesn't have a color it's just matte but yeah so I have these on together and I love this combination I wear it pretty much every day I have GNC Sally's and Ulta all of these stores oh and roses do you guys have a roses where you live it's so ratchet but it's so inexpensive let's start with the boring stuff it's gmc um so working out has been going pretty well eating right has been going well as f and juicing and i have another juice video coming up very soon um but this is something else i just added Oh, you guys, it's really windy here in Maryland. We had a tornado the other day, and it's still, like, crazy windy. So, sorry if you guys hear the wind, like, whistling. It's, like, really bad right now. Hopefully, you can't hear it. But anyway, so, yeah, so I added this to my daily regimen. It's a women's ultra mega energy and metabolism. It's a dietary supplement, and it's Vita packs inside. I'll just show you what it looks like. So they're huge pills inside of the box. Or they're already individually wrapped basically. It's a 30 day supply. So I've just been taking these um, before my workout and when I'm eating lunch. I try not to take them all together because it's just too much. And my sister actually threw up trying to take them. So she gave me her box. So now I have a 60 day supply. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is just to help your with energy and metabolism. And it really works out, Allie's. BTW, um, so, um, don't forget, Myel Organics is known as Sally's. That's not what I'm about to show you, but I just wanted to put that out there. So, um, at Sally's, I decided that I needed to um, get a little comb for my blow dryer. Um, also, I picked up some more lashes. You guys know my favorite lashes are Ardell and, of course, Strip Lash, too. I ran out of Strip Lash, so I've been using my Ardell ones lately, just out of convenience, you know? But make sure you still go check out Strip Lash. I love that company. And I will link my Shot Black series with um, Strip Lash in one of these corners. I have to figure out which corner it is. But it's a little information button up there. You can click it and go see that video. Alright, so the next store. Ulta. First thing I got is. I got some more little makeup sponges. I usually use the real one. Um, the first popular one which was the beauty blender like the actual beauty blender but they are expensive so i switched over to real techniques i've heard great things about this from makeup doll and you get two of them and i think it was 11.99 for two of them so this is good these are the demi one 102s actually oh yeah i decided to get, try the 102s because they are more separated so i just wanted to see what these look like this is the maybelline new york dream blender and also the dream velvet soft matte foundation and i got caramel so foundation and then this is a beauty blender sponge thing too but it I, oh my god it's so messy i feel so embarrassed but anyway it's um it has an actual like stick on there with the beauty blender at the tip of it um then i picked up some lipstick random from nyx i don't even know why i got this but it's like this purple color and it's a matte lipstick and I have it in Aria. So yeah, random. So from Amazon, and I don't remember the shop, but I will try to remember to put the links in the description box. I got these two um, setting powders from Ben Nye. Everyone has been raving about them. Even though a lot of people are now raving about the, um, what is it called? 
Laura Mercier or Mercier, I don't know. Everyone's been talking about that translucent powder now, but I'm still on banana powder. I just got it, so I'll just catch up. I got the luxury powder in banana. And then I also got Topaz because I see a lot of my brown girls using this banana powder and to me I thought it was like too light so I was being safe and I got both and sometimes I mix these together just because this is a bit bright. Um, but I like both of them. I definitely like the banana better and it is okay to use by itself. It really is. And you will think... Okay, so these are 1.5 ounces. So when you are about to buy these, you're going to be like 1.5 ounces for $30. Are you freaking kidding me? But it is a nice size and you don't use that much and it's lasting forever. I've been using this for like two weeks now and it has not budged. It has not budged from the top yet. So um, it's definitely worth every penny, every dollar, okay? Anyway, so I stocked up on my LA Girl um, concealer. Um, the first time I purchased LA Girl concealer, it was a long time ago. And I got the full package because these are so inexpensive, you guys. They're so inexpensive. So the big um, package of these was like $30, but you got like so many like I still have some see look the good and the bad part about getting the whole package of these like the whole collection you get every color that they make um, but there are colors that you won't be able to use so it's kind of a little bit silly to buy the whole package unless you are a makeup artist but I don't regret it because you can mix and match you can use some for like the contour because see like this one's really dark I wouldn't be able to use this as a concealer but I definitely can use this as a contour and I figured out that Fawn, F-A-W-N, Fawn is my color. So I just ordered some more of those and they actually have the ones that come in three per pack. So I just got two of these. So I'm set for a long time because these last for a long time. All right, so the last thing is roses. I don't know if you guys have roses where you live. Roses. But it is so, first of all, it seems like roses is always like in the most ghetto part of the city. No offense, west side of Salisbury. <laughs> but roses, it's well really it's right next door to my gym so I can't really say much. And the gym I go to has a whole bunch of police officers that work out there. But seriously, it's like the most ghetto shopping center ever. There's like a save a lot. So roses. I had never been inside of a roses. Well, no, you know what? I'm lying because there was a roses in my old hometown and I used to go in there with my grandma. But I never actually went there to shop. Like, I never thought, like, oh, let me go to roses and get an outfit. Like, no. <laughs> but I went in there the other day on my way to the gym because I needed a t shirt, I think. And so I was like, let me just go in here and get a t-shirt. Yo, I came out there with a t-shirt and some more stuff. I got some gold hoop earrings from Roses. But then I saw these cute purses. They are so cute. I have to take this off so you can see how cute it is. Okay, so first of all, this purse was only $10.00. And it's the cutest thing ever. It has the little chain um, on there. And then look how cute it is. It's faux leather. It has the little beads right here. The stitching detail. Gold zipper. Gold zipper. But yeah, I just think it's the cutest little purse ever. And I had to get it. And not only did I have to get it, I'll tell you guys, so I got three purses from Roses, $10 each. I couldn't leave without these. And that is the last thing from my haul. Oh yeah, so you guys, I actually um, made this hat myself. Well, no, I, f I found this bucket or snapback from Roses and it was only $3.00. 
yes three dollars so i picked it up you know what i'm gonna go back and get the other one because they had a dark brown one and now i want it um but yeah so i picked up this hat for only three dollars and then i took the little fur ball off of my um my beanie that is for like winter time and i just put it on this hat because i feel like i can still wear this in the spring because it's not actually faux fur on my body it's going to have so if you guys want to see a diy do it yourself video on this hat then let me know and i will film it little project i had a lot of fun doing this um so yeah so stay tuned for that anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully i wasn't looking over in the viewfinder too much hopefully you like the quality of this video i'm so excited i do apologize for the wind being so disrespectful right now but it is like freaking i guess tornado season in maryland but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye carol Thank you.